Hi guys, Mitchell Dale and Eric Groth Jr. for RLW TV. Now Guru, there's a couple of hours to go before the big one. So you've given us the three men you reckon are under the pump the most for Origin 3. We'll kick it off with number one, Cameron Smith. For obvious reasons, it's been a very tough lead up for Cameron with, uh, with all the Alex McKinnon stuff. Mate, it has. I feel like if he just had to come out on the first day, you know, I'm not Cameron Smith and he's got his own reasons for whatever he's doing. If he just come out and said, you know, from where I was sitting, I didn't know how severe it was, it, uh, you know, and I would never do that if I did know how severe it was, I probably would have nipped it in the bud and kind of led it to a bit more of a peaceful lead up for him. But he's chosen not to speak and I think that puts him under the pressure, more pressure than it had to be. But also on the other side of that, Mick Ennis, you know, hasn't played since 2011. Yep. He's played seven Origin games and uh, he wouldn't have won too many considering the last 10 years of Origin football. But, you know, he's a tenacious pest of a thing and I think this kind of environment suits him. Look, if you're going to bring in one player for one game for New South Wales, he is the ideal bloke. He'll come in, he'll do his kneel, he'll make his tackles, uh, leave it up for the rest of them to win the game, I would say. Number two, you reckon the two big blues forwards, uh, Aaron Woods, Dave Clemmer, you reckon uh, they're under the pump because they need to produce exactly what they did last time? They definitely do, and what better environment to stamp your authority on Origin football than you know, up at Suncorp with a packed house, sold out crowd uh, against one of the best teams ever to lace on boots. And if they, if they play good in this game, I basically you can write your own check for the rest of your career. I, I, I really think this is the next level. If, the, if they can dominate this game and the Blues can win this off the back of their go forward, it just could be anything in the future for them. Same token, there's been a lot of press about how they dominated the Queenslanders. They're a proud mob, those Queensland, especially some of those older forwards. I reckon they're going to come out pretty fired up to, uh, to put a stamp on the game themselves. Yeah, definitely. It's been relatively quiet in the media, you know, with the back and forth kind of stuff. Everyone plays it down. It's the Australian way. But I really feel like from what I've read of what the Queenslanders are saying, they are out to prove a point, especially at home, at a home, uh, in front of a home crowd. And, mate, I don't know, it's going to be very, t very tough, but I'd love to see a fairy tale blues win. Mate, we'll, uh, we'll get to that in a sec. But number three, your old sparring partner, Justin Hodges. It's his last game. Mate, he said in, uh, in, in Rugby League Week this week, a lot of the Blues greats and some of the Blues brains trust reckon he's the man they can get at. He's a bit old and a bit slow. Uh, they reckon he's the one that they can get to. Certainly Michael Jennings got around him a few times in game three. Yeah, game def two. definitely we've seen in game two Jennings kind of, you know, outsmart him in terms of footwork but yeah I think he'd be pretty much onto that this time old Hodjo mate he's one of the best players to ever play the game in the centres especially and especially at this level mate he just you know he com comes to life and I know he started off his career in origin football a little bit dusty but hasn't he made up for that he's been a standout for me across the board over the last 10 years as one of the greats yep and finally mate a tip who do you reckon and by how much I'm gonna say my head's saying Queensland, but my heart is saying the Blues. I'm going to go with the Blues by two points. By two points. I'm going Queensland by two. We'll see in a few hours who's right.